everybody, let's start sitting up nice and tall on the foot ball. Feet are quite wide, they're wider than shoulder width. You're going to reach the hands out and then you're, if you're ready, we're going to stand up and come back down. Bounce up, come back down. So a little bit of bouncing on the ball. Never hurt anybody unless you fall off, in which case it will. And you're breathing, feeding like those glutes. And you're breathing, standing into those heels for five. Three, two, and one. Bring it back down. Let's do some side bending. So you're going to reach over, send that leg straight, and then bring it back in. Reach over, send that leg over straight, and bring it back in. It's a really nice way to mobilize the spine. Get a good stretch and strengthening work into those legs. And you're breathing and reaching. Let's go for another three and two. Hold it here. Breathe, reach for five, four, three, two, one, coming back in. Reach, breathe, five, four, three, two, one, come back in. So let's go into some rotation. So without swinging the arms around, you're using your core to rotate and the arms are staying at the same width apart. So there's no swinging or movement coming from the arms. You're lifting up and out of the waist. It's like you're pushing the crown of your head up to the ceiling. Your spine staying really long. And you're breathing and rotating. Just getting those side muscles to do the work that you're wringing out a wet towel for five. Stay sitting up tall, three, two, and one. Come back in. Lovely, let's come onto the mat. So lying down onto the mat. And bring your feet on the fit ball. You're gonna breathe in and breathe out, reach those legs away. And then bring those legs back in. So you're just reaching away from your core and bringing them back in. Just working through this, trying to get the stomach to flatten and scoop in as opposed to doming up for five, four, keeping the legs glued together to activate those inner thighs and reaching away three. This all feels all right. You can have a curl up and do it in a curl up for two. If that hurts your neck, then stay curled down. And one, lovely. Then you're gonna bring your right knee in and then bring the ball in, swap sides, left knee in, bring it in, swap sides. So again, if you're curling up, then stay looking to about the base of your thigh bone. So again, if you're curling up, then stay looking to the top of your thigh bone and you're breathing and you're reaching and you're moving from your core and you're sending the leg away from your core again if it feels too much in a curl up then rest your head and shoulders back down for five and reach away for three two one stay out there and then you're going to lift the leg up and bring it back down. Tap it down, bring it up. So right leg staying still on the ball. Left leg slowly coming up, staying curled up high. Bringing it down and moving. And reaching that leg away for four, three, two. Last one and one. Bring the knee in. Sending the leg away, swapping sides, reaching this right leg up and then bringing it down and reaching it up. So nice and still on that left side and breathe. So don't lose focus on the non-moving side. Keep a nice focus on that left side and breathe. No momentum, no swinging. For five. Reaching it away for 
three, head is heavy in your hands, curl up higher, two, and one, bring it back down, bring your feet onto the ball. Let's come onto your side. So you're going to turn around on your left side, and you're going to just bring the ball between your knees and inner thighs. You're going to push up through that left elbow. You're going to reach that right hand up. And whenever you're ready, you're going to breathe and you're going to bring your hand down to that ball and then come back round. Bring that hand down and then come back in. Let's do this for another five, four, breathing, reaching, scooping the stomach in, three, a lot of inner thigh work here, two, a lot of obliques. And one. Bring those legs back down and roll the ball down a little bit lower now. So it's more like beneath your feet as opposed to your inner thighs. And we're going to pull the ball up with our feet and then come back down. Breathe in, double leg straight, reach to the ball and then come back down. Again, how does this ball suddenly get so heavy? For five. Three, two, last one, you can do it, and one, bring it back down, bend the knee in, and bring that top foot onto the ball, and we're just going to roll it away, and bring it back in, just roll it away, bring it back in for another five, and then we're going to add a lift. You thought this was all really pleasant, didn't you? And four, three, two, send the ball away, lift up, do the same thing, roll it in, send it away, bring it in, and sending it away. Staying, pushing up through that elbow for another five, Just your feet if you're going to lose the ball like I nearly did. Three, two, and the last one. Send that leg away. Lower the waist down an inch, and up an inch, down an inch, and up an inch. Keep going. For five, four, three, two, up and hold and breathe. For five, four, Three, two, one, bring it back down. Bring the ball in, let's go on to the other side. Reach that hand up. You're gonna start with our oblique rotations and inner thigh squeeze. So push up through that elbow coming in and then slowly coming back out. Reaching up to the ceiling, pushing up through that right elbow. Stay with me for five. Three, two, and one. Come back in. Send that ball down between your feet, your ankles, both legs nice and straight. You're pushing up to that right elbow. You're going to rotate, reach to the ball and then bring it back down. Rotate and reach, lift those legs up, bring it back down. Keep working hard. Ooh. Honestly, there's a lot of a shaking going on right now. For five, four, three, two, And one, bring it back down, bend the knee in. We're gonna send the foot away, and we're gonna do the leg coming in, bending in, and out. Push out through that elbow, breathing. Adjust again your foot position if you feel like you're losing the ball. 
Keep going. And breathing. For three, pushing that knee up to the ceiling. Two. Last one. One, coming all the way out. You're going to lift up onto your side. And then you're going to do the same thing. Bend the knee in. And out. Reach that hand up if you want to. Reaching it away. Breathing. For five. Four. Three. Two. All the way out. Let's lower and lift. Lower and lift. Breathing. Squeezing that bottom glute. The knee that's on the floor, that right glute. And let's go like this for another five, four, three, two. And let's come up and hold and reach that hand up, push up through that elbow for five, four, three, two, one. Come back down and let's sit now on the ball and do some seated ab work. So you're sitting up on the ball, your feet are about shoulder width apart, you're going to reach your hands out in front of you, sit up nice and tall, so making sure you're nice and stable on the ball, you're going to breathe in on the breath out, you're just going to roll down, breathe in and then breathe out, come all the way up tall, so nice and slow, if you need to walk your feet a bit more forward or back, then do so, just find that roll down, just so you get to the tips of your shoulder blades, we're going to do three more, Reaching those hands forward, breathing in, breathing out. Two more until we stay down, scooping our stomach in, rolling through those core muscles. And on the next one, you're going to come down to the bottom and you're going to bring your hands behind your head. Your hands are behind your head again, adjust your feet if you need to. We're going to do some little curl ups and come back down. So you're still staying in neutral, you're not coming all the way down onto the ball. That is to come, but you're going to breathe in and breathe out, scooping the stomach in, coming back to neutral, curling up. Try to find that curl from your core muscles, not from yanking your head up with your hands. Do three more. God, I can feel this. And two. And one. Come all the way down now. And this time you're going to come all the way down to extension if it feels comfortable. You're going to breathe in and then on breath out. You're going to curl all the way up with your hands behind your head. You're going to breathe in. You're going to breathe out. Roll down. Come all the way down. Try to make sure you're keeping your stomach engaged on the way down. That you're not just letting your stomach go. You're really keeping it connected when you go into that extension. And how do you keep it connected? Is you pull your belly button to your spine and you draw your ribs down. Let's do two more. Breathe in. Breathing out. Adjust if you need to. Last one, all the way down and hold it down there. Just reach the hands up and have a nice reset if it feels comfortable and just breathe. So I'm scooped in, but you're breathing, your head is relaxing and just holding it there just for three, two, one, to your neutral. So you're not going into full extension. So you're going to come down, breathe and breathe out, curl up. You're not coming all the way up tall. You're not seating all the time. You're coming about three quarters of the way. And then you're rotating from your center and you're breathing for six. Ooh, I can feel those core muscles. And two, last one. Breathe in, breathe out, rotate, come back in, come all the way down and have another reset. Go wherever feels comfortable for you. Again, have a little rock back and forth if you like it and just breathe. All right, coming up nice and carefully. Well done, guys. You have finished day one. I hope you enjoyed it. Tomorrow, we're gonna focus on your lower body using the fit ball. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I see you tomorrow. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's workout. If you did enjoy the workout and want to access the full five-day fitboard challenge, then you can do so by downloading my app. 
To download my app, you click on the link that's coming up now and at the end of this video, and then you'll get access to loads of content. I'm talking workout, workout challenges, mobility sessions, and so much more. You'll get a seven day free trial period, so please do try it out. If it's not for you, then no worries, cancel at any time, no questions asked. But hopefully you'll really enjoy it and we can get nice and fit and strong together. Hopefully see you soon, bye.